Diego Forlan fires shots at the Glazers ahead of Man United and Atletico Madrid clash. Manchester United cult hero Diego Forlan has fired shots at the club's owners, the Glazers, prior to tonight's Champions League game with Atletico Madrid. The Uruguay international enjoyed stints at both teams during his playing days. And, like many others, he's been left unimpressed by the way things have panned out for United in recent years. Forlan joined United back in the January transfer window of 2002, during the time when Sir Alex Ferguson ruled the roost. He was immediately given the task of competing with the likes of Ruud van Nistelrooy and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for a starting berth and, initially, took a while to adjust. Forlan then improved, but left United in the summer of 2004, with the Red Devils pursuing a young Wayne Rooney at the time. The following year, the Glazers then took charge of United, buying the club in controversial circumstances amid big protests over their plans. Since Ferguson's retirement in 2013, the club have struggled. And many have laid the blame for their issues at the Glazers' door, with protests frequent throughout their ownership. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz now. Speaking ahead of United's match with Atletico tonight, Forlan has opened up on the struggles of the Red Devils. And he appears to have aimed a dig at the Glazers by suggesting that, since they took charge, things have changed for the worse. I'm speaking from the outside, but with the change of ownership, the objectives seem to be different, he told El Pace. In that United team, there were a lot of homegrown players. That, with the good players there were, increased the quality and gave an identity that made a difference. Today, there are not so many homegrown players, also because there is a lot of competition in the scouting of young players. Don't miss Arnold ready to bin off second Glazer policy at Man United Kylian Mbappé could give Tottenham glorious transfer chance Barcelona star De Jong ends Klopp transfer message the surrounding clubs have grown. In my time, there was only Arsenal. Now there are City, Chelsea, Tottenham, and Liverpool have re-emerged. Forlan won three trophies at United, including the Premier League title in 2003. But he went on to become a big hero at Atletico, propelling them to Europa League glory at the expense of Fulham in 2010. In a separate interview with The Athletic, Forlan opened up on the differences of playing for United and their La Liga opponents. He said, United were winning the league frequently when I was there. That was the norm, the expectation. We had world-class players in every position, and we had Sir Alex Ferguson. Atletico was very different when I arrived. They talked about this pupus, losers, tag, that Atletico were always destined to fail, and they usually did. But I played with Sergio Aguero, David De G, Simao, and Jose Arias. They were great players who didn't care about the pupus thing. They didn't care what the journalist said. David was very young, but he was still steady and gave the players confidence. Our team were winners and we won trophies. Our generation broke the mystique. When we won the Europa League by beating Fulham in 2010, it was Atletico's first trophy since the 96 double. It started a run of trophies. That final against Fulham was probably the best I played in a club match. I scored twice and was man of the match. A year later, Diego Simeon arrived and took Atletico towards the club they have become. Now, in 2022, the teams are in similar situations both huge. It's not easy for either team to win the league. Their expectations for this season are now in the Champions League because neither team is going to win their league. So they can either win the Champions League to get in it next season or else the rest of the season will be spent trying to get into the Champions League for next season.